Hello and welcome. My name is Ben. I'm from Fitness Training Solutions. Today's video blog is all about your personal training qualification. So your personal training qualification, you received in the post a learner assessment record. So you've got this pack, you're not quite sure what to do with it. This is where I come in. Okay, so it's very simple. What I need you to do is go straight to page nine. So page nine is your assessment specification. It's important to understand that in the assessment, there are seven elements. So we're gonna break down each element in various different video blogs, but today I'm gonna to give you an overview of the whole program. So element one is the first thing you're gonna do. So once you've completed one, through all the way through to seven, your qualification will be completed. Exciting times lie ahead. So where do we start? First of all, element one. One at the top, anatomy and physiology. This is the theory paper. So the governing body requires you to sit a theory paper, which is a multiple cho uh, choice um, question, similar to what you would have done for your level two qualification. It's more advanced, it's at level three, you're gonna get mock papers and you get lots of information to help you with that. Also, there are some revision study days as well that you could possibly book onto if they're within your area. Remember, you've got two elements that you can do within your set. Um, you've got the standard flexible approach or the intensive approach. So if you're doing an intensive course, it will be included, but there will be an element of home study. Um, if it's the flexible approach, there's going to be a lot of home study, but then at the same time, tutors will come out to you, if not myself, uh, one of the other members of staff uh, within the team. So from completing your anatomy and physiology, you're then gonna to go to your nutrition paper, which is the nutrition uh, booklet that you're, you would have received. So you've got the theory exam for that, same protocol again, multiple choice questions, um, mock papers to help you revise, tutor support as well as a workshop as well. Staying on the nutrition, you're gonna move straight to element three. Now element three is the nutrition uh, knowledge questions and case study. It's very simple. Within the learner assessment record that we're talking about today, you're gonna to find that there's a pack that's broken down. All you need to do is go through each series of pages and questions. So you're filling all details in regarding your, um, regarding your client. This could be a fellow learner, um, a relative, um, a partner or a spouse. So ultimately, you're gonna take this, this person through your pack that you've received in the post going through nutrition, using the tools that you've um, gone through uh, within your assessment um, day with us. Element four. Element four is your program knowledge questions. So it's important to understand that you've got re um, reasonable knowledge within the qualification. So what we do is we set you a series of questions within the um, case study so that you can answer those questions and we can see that you fully understand exactly what you're doing when applying the principles of nutrition. Element five is your program for um, your personal training, so your personal training case study, so to speak. Again, same protocol. It, within the pack, it's set out page by page. You're gonna take your client through that page um, and you're gonna go through every single section to get as much information as you can to provide the best program for that person. Element six, you're looking at the delivery knowledge questions again. So we have a case study, knowledge questions, case study, knowledge questions. Both case studies, three months. 12 week case study showing clear progression from months one to months three. Once you've done element six, you'll then move to element seven, which is a summative observational practical. So your observational practical is really um, for you and the client is to show me um, or the other assessors uh, or tutors um, with your qualification that you're going to be able to train someone effectively and efficiently using advanced techniques. The advanced techniques we're looking at supersetting, drop sets, pre-exhaustion exercises, pyramid training, um, negatives. So using a range of different exercises, cardiovascular training as well, fartlet training, continuous training. Um, it's really important that you get to the uh, practical workshops to have a real good understanding of the advanced techniques. Also use them in your own training because they're gonna really help you as well going forward. So that's pretty much everything we need to go through today. We've gone through the assessment criteria, give you an understanding of everything you need to do. If you've got any more questions, please contact us. All the details are coming uh, straight after the uh, link. You're gonna have email address, contact numbers, 
uh, Facebook, YouTube. Be in contact soon. Speak to you later. <laughs>